Wolf is really strong in the current patch, uh, especially with the. I think everybody now knows really. Oh the, my god, the, the boots cancer of, boots. The cancer, the <laughs> cancer boots. of sweetness. Exactly. Um, you know, such an additional mobile um, pick that they could have out. And Natalia being Your removed, is this picking. is a clear indication that Evos has been doing their research. Definitely, definitely. Well, I do like I do like the this I do like this pickup picking. here uh, of Natalia being banned out as well as Grok. I do feel that this is going to be a very very interesting interesting uh, composition here. We do see last night Hayabusa being picked up here picking. by Evos. What do you think about this? I mean, you go for a strong pick early on like IDNS does, right? They do hover over the high loss right now. But the fact that they picked up Lancelot and Hayabusa could be very the interesting coming towards picking. IDNS. Do you feel that IDNS, I mean, they don't have their own MPL, right? But I'm pretty sure they made some necessary uh, preparations for this kind of oh, composition. Oh, I'm, I'm very sure that they have. Um, I, in fact, I really love the Chol pickup over here. Um, it's slightly underrated. We haven't really seen much of him in the uh, Malaysian, Singapore, or the Indonesian side recently. Your team but he is. is uh, we were theory crafting about this, and he is pretty high up there. Hayabusa's, you know, early on pick with Lancelot was a great um, initial starter because you have damage dealers, you have it. Um, you know, one of the stronger picking. picks within this patch. But to round it off, having Angela and Akai just gives them the extra versatility. And oh Ooh. my word, that's such a quick lock in for Jawhead. I'm not sure about the final Jawhead composition, you know, how much into the team fight uh, as a fighter will he actually play out. But Bane and Fanny rounding up Idnes Thailand, absolutely insane. So here we have it. On both sides, we now have the lineups. I'm going to get a little bit of your, you know, prediction just based on the picks and bands that's there because I did not expect Bane to come through. I did not expect Bane to come through. I didn't even expect the Jawhead, but I do see a little bit of how this Jawhead can fit in this composition. He can set up some really interesting fights here, especially with Lancelot and Hayabusa. Hayabusa now being worked out a little bit more. Now, instead of mana, he does have energy. He does have energy now, so I think that's going to be really, really interesting. How that's going to fit into the entire composition and whether or not the team can execute. Because when we look at this composition, you're going to see that it's all about execution. It's all about how we're going to get the damage into their Faces. We're going to be loading into the oh, game. Legend. Whether or not it's going to be IDNS Thailand or EVOS, let us know in the Five comments below. Hashtag EVOS win or hashtag field. IDNS Thailand Smash win. Them. Let us know. I mean, IDNS Thailand picked here with the Bane coming through. Um, not only did they throw a little bit of a wrench into you know, what you typically see within the region here, it also is showing their versatility and their flexibility as a team. And that is something to be feared. Definitely. Alright, so standard oh. knock up here. Oh my god, Amy IZ now in a lot of trouble. IDNS seems to be in a big, big part of the spot here. Early on, it's gonna be first blood. Jawhead drawing out first blood for the side of Evos. And Evos looking to make sure that the Indonesian pride echoes in the comments. Oh, we see Nemo TV now in a little bit of trouble here. I mean, it was really good for them to respond afterwards by going in and having the invade. Noticing that Hayabusa was not there, most likely taking his buff. Nice rotation coming in from the side of INS Thailand to spot that out. And now we see that, you know, the sort of, you know, three-man, you know, death walk that's coming up from EVOS there. Um, using a little bit of advantage in terms of extra goal and experience that they got to pressure the bottom lane. Uh, and it's really good, you know, set up from them. Evos wants to pick up the early fight because Bane doesn't need a little bit of scaling before he's able to, you know, really have a significant impact into the game. 40 seconds before, 30 seconds before the turtle, and we do see that Evos now looking towards getting there goes the ejector onto Ami, and it's going to be the spin to win here coming in from the Fanny, and it's going to go down. Angela gets the kill here. Emperor Nemo, and of course, just no limit looking towards pushing that bot lane. This is going to play strong, strong, strongly towards. It's Evos here because of how they're going to be ganking towards his bot side. That's going to open up the objectives for them. That's going to give them a lot more experience and a lot more goal over the top side. However, great flicker away from the action, making sure it's absolutely yeah, safe at the same time. They're gushing, my word, being able to isolate him out away. But will they pay for it with his life? Bane dies up top, and there's still going to be more engage over here. Does pull back their knives. Well, IDNS now looking towards getting some kind of a counterplay here. Marsha looking towards trying to get some situations to play out 
better for the side of EVOS, but it sees the IDNS is looking towards getting back the aggression and getting back a little bit more map control here. Now we do see the IDNS is responding to this bottom side push here. They might divert some resources over to the bot side, but it seems that oh, with the binding that's going to go down over to the Fanny, we're going to stop that cutthroat from taking up air superiority. Yeah, I mean, really good, you know, timing on the steel cables there, making sure that she got away, um, you know, away enough from the danger that was there. Really good. Currently three to one. Just checking sure that turtle is still there. Both teams are standing around it. Akai still a little oh, bit Oh, the flicker right into the ejector. See, Amy is in a big, big spot here. Amy's gonna go down to the last lot. This is gonna be where the fight's gonna go down. Turtle going back and getting back the HP, regening, and the fight is splintered in over their heads. Emperor now going dangerously low. Will he be able to get away? Oh, manages to get away. Dodges it beautifully. I mean, that was really nicely done by them. They're focusing on a team fight, making sure that they were not specifically taking the objective, which helped a lot in stopping the objective being taken. And with that, we see a, a little bit more kills. The goalie growing in terms of EVO's favor, but the main objective was still not taken. I mean, it's a little bit of a throwback towards MSC, in my opinion, because when we do see some things like this, right, where goal lead is definitely something in favor and kills are something in favor for an enemy team, we do see that some teams are able to play from behind. These itemizations are going to be very interesting. What do you think about this? All of this? I mean, uh, the, pseudo. the boosts of swiftness, swiftness all across the board. We also see lots of magical resistance coming through as well. You do have Angela, you have Jawhead and Akai there. So it makes sense that IDNS Thailand is really setting up for the latest stages of the game where the damage will not be as severe as before. Now we do look here, a lot of problems coming in for the side of I EVOS here. Oh, uh, Amy gets flicked again over the shoulder. He goes, just no limits, has been taken down. That's gonna, not going to be a good start here for the side of the fight. EVOS now in a big trouble, but they managed to get another kill back. It's one for one now. Will Marsha be able to go? Amy now in a big spot. This is where the dive can be good. Another kill by the Hayabusa. And we do see EVOS looking towards getting more and more advantages here. Amy getting... Poke down a little bit more, and we do see that they are going to try to get the turtle again, the and it's going to be the, the turtle. first turtle going to go over towards Evos. More I mean, experience, more gold. Exactly, they've been trying so hard for the objective. You know, finally paying it off, does secure it. On top of it, getting the few additional kills, and also now a little bit of the map advantage as well. Uh, moving towards your favor, back up top, we're going to see that Bane is skirmishing a little bit with Hayabusa. That's uh, still trading back and forth. Nice veil picked up by Gushin there. You know, prioritizing a little bit more defensiveness because they do want to stay in this fight a little bit longer to make sure that they are able to deal out the damage. The oh, kickback is there. There goes the kickback. It's beautifully done. Nemo TV goes down. Amy in a bit of trouble here. Has to flicker away. This is where the fight could turn around, but Evos decides, nope, we're not going to go and commit too much towards it. This is where some trouble is going to be for Evos here. Oh, Cora TV Aura now in a bit of trouble. We'll be able to get that little bit of health that thanks to the lifesteal but he's going to get taken down slain. with the smack from Bane. Now we do see Jess No Limit hanging out over to the bot side here. Fanny in the jungle looking towards, looking towards their uh, moving up here. So as we see this kind of style, we do like uh, what Evos is doing actually. Uh, so I feel that what turret. Evos is doing is relative towards getting those early objectives but they've got to be very very careful that IDNS does not pick up on this and matches their playstyle here because if they match their playstyle then all of the lead that you have seen thus far like how we've seen early on is going to translate towards a very very weak mid game here for the side of EVOS we do see that the goal is being catched up here by the side of IDNS EVOS still has a lead but it's only a few game play, uh, plays away from losing that lead what do you think about this uh, Sudo? I definitely agree about the early stages of the game here we talked about uh, EVOS wanting you know, to take a little bit extra risk as they're doing Lord, that. So far, their risk soon. has paid off. However, with the middle stages of the game coming out now, oh, we right. are seeing that Gushin is able you know, to come in, do that burst damage out there. Aura might get taken down here, but will take somebody else with him. Fanny goes down there as well. Might be able to escape. Oh, oh, the dude will oh, not for oh, DNF. Chug is to kill onto that one. And it's still going to be more aggression back up top. Loving the fact that Evos is playing more of a objective-based game out here. You know, systematically removing people from under the turret and then pushing it out. 
What I like this is because Emperor is actually timing his dodge really, really well. So I do like the fact that with the follow-up that's coming in from the side of EVOS, they might actually be able to steal this game away from IDNS. And I don't know about you, but it seems that IDNS in a little bit of a shaky side here coming into the first game. But it's still not too late. There's still two kills behind. Not too far off, but it's going to be a bit of a battle here if they need to catch up. They need to get, they need to win a little bit more fights. And this is where IDNS does not win fights here. Amy getting caught again and is going to get taken down. Look at the amount of damage that's being drawn out here. A mega kill onto Emperor. Emperor living up to his words. A dominant display of regalty. And we are going to see that Hayabusa has started up a lot here already. Now, IDNS Silas is um, more so primed towards the later stages of the game where Fanny can really wreak havoc across, you know, the split pushing side of the map. And that's what they haven't really reached yet. Look for this to happen around the 10 to 12 minute mark as the items really start to build up. Because they went a little bit more defensive earlier on, they are lacking a little bit of damage right now. But still, oh, removing Angela. Fanny coming in, removing Angela is going to be a big problem here for the side of EVOS. Now, IDNS might be able to turn this around. If they get the Lord here from under EVOS's noses, they could turn around the fight and they could get it. Oh, that was a beautiful high loss ultimate here. Marsha being taken down, separated from the fight. They're all going to go, but Lord has been slain. IDNS sideline might be able to come and turn this around. But the fight is not in their favor. They will be getting them down one by one. And out of nowhere, Nowhere! ID and that Thailand catching it up! Will the Indonesian pride chant silence in the comments now? Oh man, oh man, Indonesian That team. was, you know, really hard for Evo to take out there. Not only were they pushed away from Lord, but they should not have gone in for the re-engage of the fight. Yes, they should have gone in, you know, potentially for the steal that's there, but over-committing with the resources was insane. Having the concentrated energy the and gush in there meant that he could just sustain so much within the team fight that's going on. Oracle there on high loss as well, you know, making sure that he does stay topped up throughout the whole time. Curse Helmet on Akai not quite going to be helping in this situation. They need to wait for the next round of items before EVOS can start to compete with them. But with Idenas Thailand now getting their items, they are in pretty prime position to fight more equally. Now here comes EVOS now sticking together, making sure that they are going to win out this fight. Amy has to get away now. That's going to be a bad, bad spot for the side of Idenas to take the fight here. EVOS looking towards getting it back. Taking a little bit of turret damage will be uh, frenzy. But Lord will be helping them push them out here. IDNS looking towards ending this game against EVOS, making sure that they do not come back to this. split push on Fanny. We talked about it just a couple of minutes ago and now we're seeing it happen over here with the distraction of Law all the way on the other side of the map. It's working so well. Great flick away from Gushin up there. Oh. Looks like we'll be able to pull back the knives just in time. The tower will go down and back up top as well. The second one will go down all three. The base is exposed. And you want to talk about an explosive match? Look at how everything changed within the last two minutes. I think a lot of it was just put into that one Lord play that IDNS was able to steal from. Because IDNS was able to steal that Lord play, they, they uh, excuse me, because they made the play to steal the Lord, right? Yep. You're going to realize that they just gave so much breathing space. And because of the breathing space that they created, IDNS was able to take advantage of the lanes, was able to take advantage of the damage stats that they got, and most importantly, they were able to shut down EVOS's lead. EVOS now has to turtle up a little bit, make sure that they do not lose these next two fights. Losing this next fight might be the end for it, EVOS. It, it might be the end of now already. Now we're going to see that Fanny has to back out a little bit. Akai's ultimate is on. Dust trap two members out there. Oh, Will it be enough to bring it down in oh. the end? IDNS now in the bug, spot of trouble, one of the damage dealers has gone down, Cho will be taken down and there goes Amy now, looking towards it, but there is going to be a bit of a push here over to the top side, this is going to be crazy, IDNS looking towards it and look at that experience by Amy, looking to live up the passion, looking to live up the damage is going to go down, Aura now has to go down, there goes just no limit, looking towards getting that no limit up and at him. But will they be able to get it? No, IDNS pushing it out. This is going to be bad here for the side, but the turret damage coming down for IDNS will stop them you from pushing it out. This is where IDNS has got to go back. This is where EVOS could actually get a little bit more breathing space, but it's not going to be enough though. Framesy looking towards getting it, and oh my god, Miss Mink taking them down with some good kills here. I mean, really utilizing Bane so effectively, the ultimate zoning, you know, people away, making sure that they are trapped out there. 
although EVOS did win a little bit of the team fight and deter Idenas Thailand, they are playing around in their base. That is not a good position to be in. Bane gets trapped away, but will it be oh. enough damage? It does not look that way. Gushan comes back in. Angel will still not be enough to save it. And now Akai, unfortunately, you may be a wonderful jumping player. Oh. It will not be enough to deter them all from keeping away. Well, that was nicely done here. IOS coming in to help him out. But it will be Akai that gets taken down. Emperor now respawns. This is a perfect time for IDNS to actually go yeah, in. Uh, go into the enemy ter territory and just secure whatever objectives that they can get and keep up the pressure. I do like the fact that they are pushing it out, but looking at the amount of stats that's coming, oh my goodness, look at that. Isoadi. I mean, ISO is definitely doing a really good job here. You're going to look at one thing. Bane is already hit 10,000 gold. Exactly. That's a huge amount of... Um, you know, gold that translates into items over there. On the other side, Evos is struggling when it comes to gold. We're going to see here that Fanny as well, about to hit that 10,000 mark. You know, so strong, and Evos cannot afford to step out of their base because the moment they do that, Fan is going to go in and immediately start the back door. Bane can look for the fight to slow them down from returning back to oh, base. Here comes the kickback. The kickback is good though, but no members of IDNS are nearby. Here comes other members from the side of uh, EVOS to come in. IDNS now looking towards getting that kill. Marsha now in a bit of trouble. Marsha spins to wins the Buying high loss time. Buying some time as much as they can, but the Lord has been taken down. And this is bad here. Instead of buying time, they should have just backed away double as quick kill. as they can. But the double kill is going to go over towards IDNS. This is the spelling of doom here coming in from EVOS. And the silence of Indonesian pride. A lot of... Uh, Indonesians are going to be disappointed here, but it is game number one after all. They still have another game for them to come back in and try to draw it out. But here they come again and again. Here comes IDNS with more damage and more kills. The numbers are not in favor for the side of EVOS. And this is going to be game number one in favor of IDNS Thailand. What a way to kick things off Thailand. Showing everybody, you know, how it's done in pride really there. We're gonna switch back a little bit. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. Yeah.